Hi, this is the third part of a three-part series over what I consider to be the most important plugins a teacher should install on a WordPress-based classroom website. In this video, I'll be going over a plugin called Quiz Tool Lite, which is an awesome plugin that allows you to administer tests and quizzes from your classroom website. In part one, I discussed the Comment Spam plugin Akismet. In the second video, I discussed the formatting plugin called Shortcodes Ultimate. Quiz Tool Lite is by far my favorite WordPress plugin. Uh, it's changed the way that I teach my class. Prior to finding this plugin, my website for was just basically an About Me page, which I had linked a syllabus to. But with this plugin, um, it allowed my website to become the, the central element upon which my classroom is based. Um, it, my website is now the way I disseminate information. All of my lectures are online. All of my assignments are online. And it, it, but it all started because with the Quiz Tool Lite plugin, I'm able to do assessments now on my website as well. Um, this website, this plugin, when I've written this here, with this plugin, my website became more than just a content delivery vehicle, but it became a way for me to assess my students and for me to provide immediate feedback to them. And so with that said, I'm going to go into how to install the plugin and then how to use it a little bit. Now, this plugin is fairly elaborate and takes take some work to set up. Like Once it's installed, getting your first quiz online will take a little bit of time, but the time investment I found to be well worth it. So here we go. We're going to install the Quiz, to the quiz Tool Lite plugin. This is the WordPress site, the test site that I created in the first video, um, where we installed the Akismet plugin. This is the post that we did on the short codes um, with the box, the spoiler in the YouTube uh, short codes. Um, now we're going to come over here into the dashboard. I actually already have it open, so I'll just click on it here. We're going to come into the plugins. We're going to add a new plugin. Once the new plugin area is open, we're going to look for Quiz Tool Lite, and we'll search for it. And here it is. And we're going to install it. It says it's untested, but I can assure you that it does work, um, at least with version 4.7 of WordPress. Once it's installed, I'm going to activate it. Now that it's activated, in addition to seeing it here, you'll also see over here that I have a section called Quiz Questions. Now, this plugin has a lot of moving parts, kind of. Um, the basic idea is you can make quizzes. In these quizzes, I could add a new quiz, but before I can add a quiz, I need to have questions that I can pull into that quiz. So you can come over here and you'll make what are called question pots. Question pots, uh, I like to think of them as uh, kind of like levels of dif difficulty. So I might have just quiz one, and we might have the easy questions. And now I have that question pot. And then in addition to that one, I might want to have quiz one, the hard questions. At this point, I could then... Doo -doo -doo, where did my hard one go? Did it not get there? Let's try it again. Create a new question pot. Quiz one hard, create the question pot. There it is, I must not have hit the right button. So here, uh, let's add two questions to each of these. I'm just gonna add some real basic stuff. Hopefully we can remember the answers. I'm gonna wanna make a multiple choice question. You can make all sorts of different types, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna make a couple of multiple choice questions. Um, I'll click here. I can say, hey, here's the actual question. 
to question, um, and I'll need to make some response on response answers. I need to save this before entering that. So let's save. Um, over here now, we're going to make some response options. I'm just going to make one or two possible answers. I'm going to say this is the right one. I'm going to call this one correct. We're going to update that. And then let's make another response option and say this is wrong. Now obviously you could have a mug and mark that as the correct answer. Obviously you can have as many multiple choice answers as you want. For this I'm just going to leave it, leave it at that and this is going to be that first question. Then over here, um, just to do this quickly, I'm going to copy this question. And now I have question number two. And uh, you can edit it. And on this question, it will say, hey, here's the actual question, and here are my responses. Now you'll see that it's flipped. This is wrong, this is right. You can, you can, it'll reorder them if you want it to. So I now have two questions in um, this easy pot just to kind of show you the differentiation here. I'm going to say, I'm actually going to give this a first actual question. And then the other one, let's call it the second actual question. You'll be able to see why here in a second. Um, okay. Save. Now I'm going to go back over here to my question pots. And I'm going to come to the hard. Notice that I have two questions now in the easy section. Now I'm going to create some hard questions. So I'm just going to make a couple of hard questions. Once again, they're going to be multiple choice. I'm going to do it real fast. Just first actual question. Save it. Make my response options. Once again, we're just going to do a couple of them. Here's the right answer. I'm going to call out the correct answer and update it. And then I'm going to... Return to this. Oh, no, I'm not. I need to make the second. I need to make the second response option, don't I? Update. So now I have two possible answers. Now I go to this. Return to the hard questions. I have question one. I'm going to copy the uh, second question. And. I probably should have said hard question, so let's make it a hard question first. Hard actual question. And then we're going to have the second hard actual question. Edit. Okay, so now I have two pots with two varying levels of difficulty of questions um, for quiz one that have been created. Quiz one, quiz one, easy, hard. I can now come over here to the quizzes and I can make a quiz. So let's add a new quiz. Uh, we're going to call this quiz one. And I'm going to add questions from pots. And here are the pots that I've created. Now, I want every kid to get a different quiz. So instead of pulling all the questions, I'm just going to pull one and it's going to randomly pull um, the question set from those two pots. So um, there should be a couple of different combinations of questions here. I'm going to update that quiz. Okay, I should now have the settings. I can probably look. I can set, there's all sorts of settings you can do. I'm actually trying to find where the um, short code is now. Here it is. So now here's my short code. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here to my posts. I'm going to add a new post. I'm going to use the, I'm just going to call this quiz one. And I'm going to paste in that short code. Actually, just to be safe, let's do it in the actual text. 
So at that point, let's publish this and let's see what happens. Okay, so we'll come back to our test site. We're going to hit F5, click to refresh it, and the second actual question. So notice that this wasn't the first actual question. Here's the first hard question. So I could have had either or in this case. So I'm going to answer this is the right one. And I'm going to answer this is the right answer. I'm going to submit my answers. And it should say, hey, you got it correct. You got it correct. You got 100% on this attempt. You could also, um, you know, have wrong answers and they'll get posted. So it gives the kids immediate feedback on how well they've done. There are options to where you can um, limit time. You can uh, limit the number of the time. You can limit the time that they have to, to complete the quiz. You can limit the number of attempts that they can do on the quiz. Uh, you can set it up to where they can't change their answers. There, in addition to multiple choice questions, you can have short response. You can have reflective, just where they write and tell you about their thoughts. This is a phenomenal plugin. And so with that, I cannot stress enough that this plugin could very well change the way you teach your class. Thank you.